Let me tell you, this is a bizarre after hours event. Today we're going to break down what exactly is this event, who is it right for, what to expect if you come here, and ultimately, how does one get in here? What does it cost? Who can you bring with you? And what are some of the perks? Because it's truly a very, very bizarre after hours event. Bricky here, breaking down my first ever Moonlight Magic at Disney's California Adventure. Let's go. Now, as always with these events, one of the perks is you get to be in a very exclusive version of Disney's California Adventure. And when you go to Oogie Boogie or any of the after hour events, one of the things that you hope to find are very limited ride times. Well, let me tell you, tonight's ride times are some of the craziest I've ever seen. If it's one of the lower level rides, a Mater's Tow Yard, Little Mermaid, Monsters Inc., a walk-on. And not only a walk-on at the beginning of the party, but a walk-on for the entire duration. You could just literally walk on as many attractions as you want to, except if you get to the big dogs. Now, unfortunately, the Incredicoaster was broken down, so that takes one of the thrill rides off the board. Guardians, Mission Breakout, and Radiator Racers, each of those were saying they were 40 minutes, a little bit under that, but probably about 25 to 30 minutes to get on them. But considering what those attractions normally are, that is a sweet, sweet deal. So one of the big takeaways from tonight is, out of all the after dark parties I've ever been to, this one by far had the shortest ride times I've ever seen, making it feel very, very exclusive. Because when you look at some of the footage I shot tonight, I don't believe there were a ton of people here tonight. This is a DVC members and their guest only party. And let me tell you, this might be the most empty version of DCA I have seen in a long, long time, possibly ever. There are not that many people here. I heard last year's event was much, much more crowded and it almost seems, almost seems as if Disney sold just enough tickets, sold enough tickets just to say that they did it. With the wait times for the attractions being so low, it makes me think that there wasn't that many people here. The walkways were all empty. The only real place where you saw long lines of people was for the food. Let me explain to you how the food works because it's pretty fascinating. So all throughout the park, there were coolers lined up where you could go up and get free ice cream. You want a Mickey ice cream sandwich. You want one of the Mickey chocolate bars. You want a fruit popsicle, all of them available for free. But what I was told is that last year they also had free beverages, Coke products and water. That didn't seem to be the case this year, but there is also a voucher that everyone gets. Everyone receives what looks like three theme park tickets and each one of those tickets has $10 credit on it. So essentially every person here was given $30 to spend wherever they want. And that made some of the food lines incredibly, incredibly long. And you have to wonder how much time did some people spend trying to get rid of their $10 vouchers? We did something pretty smart. We went to Lamplight Lounge before the event actually started because like all after dark events, six to nine, the park was double loaded with regular guests and DVC guests. And then at nine o'clock, they started to let people out which was a little bit weird because they did a world of color from nine to nine fifteen. So the park was actually double loaded a little bit closer to nine thirty. kind of unfair to the DVC people, but also I understand that those other people bought a whole day ticket regardless when it was still a mix of DVC folks and regular ticketed folks, we went to Lamplight Lounge and our waiter allowed us each to put in all three of our vouchers. So five of us had dinner. The meal was $160 and it cost us $10. But we have friends that waited an hour and a half to eat at Lucky Fortune Cookery and their cast member would only take one voucher at a time. Bye guys. Thanks Tom. A lot of times when you do these events, it's luck of the draw, it's the cast member you get. There's not a lot of consistency. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Mostly I lose. That voucher 
is a pretty sweet deal when you think about not only do you have the free grab and go ice cream treats, but you have that $30 voucher to cover your, your, your meal. So dinner and snacks are on Disney, which is incredibly rare for the West Coast. I know they do this with some of the after hour parties on the East Coast, but this is incredibly rare for out here. And yet another amazing perk was they had a truly, truly rare collection of characters for you to meet and greet in nearly every land. Now Cars Land didn't have anything special going on whatsoever other than walk-ons for the two smaller rides and about a 30 minute wait for Radiator Racers, but no characters. And Avengers Campus had the same old, same old. Loki, Spider-Man, Captain America, that land and me are not getting along right now. There were limited, bizarre characters and really short lines. Not the long lines that you see at Oogie Boogie Bash or Star Wars Night. Manageable lines. <laughs> Manageable lines where you're gonna wait an appropriate amount of time for a character meet and greet. Five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minute tops. None of that 80s night, sweetheart night, where people wait 45 minutes or an hour for a character meet and greet. That's, that's just insane. This was appropriate wait time for the experience. Friends, there is nobody around and it feels so lonely. And that's how it feels when you don't subscribe to Hey Bricky. Come on, let's join the channel. Subscribe to Hey Bricky today. Keep going on these adventures with me. Show me that you want me to do more videos. I'm trying to really, really hard to curate three videos for you each and every week. Subscribe to Hey Bricky and go on this adventure with me and I will be so grateful and then I won't feel so lonely. Thank you for subscribing to Hey Bricky. Now back to today's video. Something that made this event a little bit different from other events is it was possibly the absolutely worst themed after hours party I've ever been to. In fact, there wasn't even a theme. There was no theme. So in that regards, it was the worst after dark party I ever went to, period, full stop. No theming, no live entertainment, no DJs, no music, just some character meet and greets and not a lot of people was how you knew it was an event. But on the flip side, because of how few people were here, it might have been the most enjoyable after dark event I've ever been to. Because a lot of times the ones that have the bigger themes, Disney put a lot more money into them. They sell a lot more tickets and it still feels like a true VIP experience. But tonight was absolutely bizarre. And I mean bizarre. I can't even express how empty it was and how it felt like the world was your oyster. Because tonight was one to remember. So even though it was the worst on theming, it was maybe the best as far as overall vibes and freedom to just do whatever you wanna do in a nearly abandoned version of DCA. It was nice to be in an abandoned DCA when that wasn't attached to a pandemic. But now let's break down, how does one go about getting a ticket to such an exclusive event? Because this part I found to be absolutely fascinating. This is a Disney Vacation Club member only event. The only way that you can get the main ticket to this is to be a Disney Vacation Club member, but it goes a little bit further than that. You have to be one of the direct DVC members. If you have bought your contract from somebody else on the secondary market, you do not qualify for this type of perk. You also have to own at least 150 points in the DVC system. This qualifies you for the level that they refer to as direct member benefits. That's who qualifies for this party. If that is who you are, then you go to a link and you wait in a virtual queue and play the MTAH more than an hour game, hoping that you are one of the few DVC members that gets through and can grab a ticket. But on the other side, if you do get that ticket, it is good for five people. So you and four of your friends or four of your family members can come out to this event. 
And this event is absolutely free for DVC folks. Now, let's put that free around air quotes because you've bought 150 points, you've invested heavily in Disney, but this is one of your perks, it is one of your rewards, and you don't have to put up any money for five theme park tickets to get you in from six to nine with everybody else, and then nine to 12 when the park is exclusively yours. And let's not forget that all five of those people each get $30 in vouchers, which is $150 additional bonus, and all those free treats and eats up and down all the major thoroughfares of DCA. A pretty sweet deal, and a sweet deal indeed for a guy that had two and a half Mickey ice cream sandwiches. The half one was so frozen, I felt like I was gonna break my teeth out. And I even wore it in my underarm for 15 minutes, but it wouldn't warm it up. It was the hardest thing I've ever tried to eat in my life. And by hard, I mean physically hard, like a rock. Now also on the flip side of this, it is extremely hard to book a DVC hotel room during this event, because as you know, California has a very limited supply of DVC rooms. So this many DVC people coming out for an event made that supply gobble up pretty quickly. So a lot of DVC folks are paying regular rack rate to stay either on property or off property because getting a room during this event is incredibly hard. Kind of a sad thing to reflect back on. Tonight's party reminded me annual pass holder nights that we used to get at Disneyland back in the 20 teens, where there were parties like this that pass holders could get, but this used to be the type of perk that you got for being a pass holder. And now that has moved up the chain only for DVC members and only DVC members that have bought directly from Disney and have purchased at least 150 points. This bizarre, bizarre event. Who is it perfect for? Well, it's obviously perfect for DVC members that are lucky enough to be able to grab a reservation. It is absolutely perfect if you are one of the chosen few that can win the lottery system to get one of these tickets. They only do this once a year, and this is 2024. So this event will not be happening again this year. And I did hear some people complain about the theming or this or that, but guys, for a comp visit to the park, that comes with free snacks and free dinner. I mean, what are you gonna do? To do this, you've already bought the contract, you've already bought your timeshare, you're already mouse ears deep into Disney. How can you complain? It is essentially for people that have invested that heavily. It's one of their rewards, it's one of their perks. It is, by all definition, in that regard, a free trip to the park, free fun for you and your friends. So to me, it's hard to imagine complaining where all the rides are a walk-on and there's lots of rare characters to get photos with. And you can just stroll through the park and not bump into people, have your own space. They even did a needless second showing of World of Color where hardly anybody was there. It was overall a complete win. And anybody who tells you that they cut corners or it was cheap or it wasn't well thought out or well planned or the worst event so far that Disney's ever put on as after hours, that is just... <laughs> logic that I can't even reason with because it was free. You know, normally you get what you pay for, but this was a lot better than what you paid for, which was nothing because if you're here, you've already spent your money, you've already invested. This was just a perk, and I think it was a pretty damn good perk. Really, the only thing I could be critical about if I was just looking for something to be critical would be the lack of theming. But I would say, do you really need theming? Do you need a live band or a DJ or a park-wide soundtrack? Or do you just need an intimate, quiet night at Disney's California Adventure where you can just literally do whatever you want to this evening without any hassles? You wanna ride a lot of rides? Do it. You wanna meet a lot of characters? Do it. You wanna eat free snacks and just hang out on the streets and just enjoy an empty park? Do it. Whatever you wanted to do, the world was your oyster for the price tag of free. I can't complain about this one. I think it was really amazing and I am shocked that it is good as what it was. I'm kind of blown away. Disney normally doesn't do free things and this one technically is. And friends, if my review of tonight was too positive for you, you know I will never ever hold back on calling out Disney when I don't think something is appropriate or fair. But 
I have to be honest and I have to say tonight was absolutely amazing. My honesty, my reputation is everything to me. So if you don't like a positive video, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you something that was awful when it was actually really, really great. Friends, if you enjoyed this bizarre evening with me, I would suggest spending another evening with me by joining Club 1313, where soon I'm gonna do a private two hour stream for members only that is going to be absolutely wild. Celebrating three years and 10 days of Club 1313. Tonight I was hanging out with all club member friends and we had a great time. And I wanna thank my friend Tom for inviting me and sharing this event with me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon in Club 1313 and our private Discord where you can become one of our Disneyland friends.